Brittany Griner was detained in February at an airport in Russia, near Moscow. And she was detained in possession of vape cartridges that contained oil derived from cannabis. And she has been detained for the last eight months. It became a political story fairly quickly where her offense was not seen as all that bad in the United States. But in Russia, the laws for drugs are way harsher than they are here. People with more severe crimes have gotten less than what I was given. I said in my first court that yes, I plead guilty. Uh, I did not intend to do this, but I understand the charges brought against me. And I just hope that that is also taken into account. She recently lost an appeal, and it's expected that she'll soon be sent to a prison in Russia. I certainly believe that the political dynamics of the situation where U.S.-Russia relations are at a very low point, probably the lowest since the end of the Cold War, and as a consequence of that, she's a high-profile person who the United States government is going to is going to be and has been pressured by various groups to seek her release. Because of that, she likely is a high value asset for Russia. I absolutely believe that she is being held, at least in part, for political reasons as leverage. For Russia's purposes, she's an asset who will be uh, exchanged in some sort of trade at some point. There's some conflicting accounts on what's the appropriate punishment, but she faced up to 10 years. She got over nine. And my sense is that this wasn't really even the judge's call. I'm gonna kind of guess that this was probably pushed by the Russian government that, that although this is a legal process, I think the overlay with politics is probably much more relevant that this is not an ordinary case. This is a case where the government likely has a lot of suasion on what's going on. So she did receive a, a very harsh sentence. Amnesty International has a number of commentaries on Russian prisons that they're more like work camps. They're called penal colonies. We used to call them gulags. I mean, the, the really heinous conditions that for women in particular are unsafe. The fact that she's gay, the fact that she's black, she has a number of other aspects about her that probably will make the experience worse. In the hope at the end of the day is that these sentences become irrelevant, that she's traded back to the U.S. I think that's what we really have to hope for, is that her time in a prison, regardless of the sentence, is as short as possible because there's a trade for her. But we don't know when that's going to happen.